So Valentino decided to surprise us. Not only did they give us one release, which was this right here, the Donna Born and Roma Intense, which was highly anticipated. They decided to give us an ultra exclusive release that has quite frankly caused quite a frenzy online. And they decided to give us the Valentino Donna Born and Roma Pink PP Edition. Oh, we about to review it. Let's get on into it else. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here. Yes, you are hearing that correctly. We are doing the dedicated review on the highly anticipated, highly coveted, kind of elusive release that is new from Valentino. And that is the new Valentino Donna Born in Roma Pink PP Edition. Let me tell you something. I knew this was coming for about two months, thanks to one of my Sephora reps that said, hey, just so you know, come around the fall time, early fall, there will be a new pink bottle of Valentino coming out and it's gonna be limited edition. And I said, interesting. No idea what that would mean, but considering I have all of the other Valentino Donnas, you all have seen me review them over time. I'll definitely link those up top if I can throughout the video. And let me tell you, this pink one intrigued me. Of course, we all know pink is the color of 2023. Thanks to the Barbie movie, it's like a whole thing. So when this was finally announced and it came out, I had to get it. So let's talk about this. It, it first came out in the UK. So in August, it was available on the UK's website, but we could not buy it here in the United States. So it was kind of like, oh, I want it, I want it. It wasn't on the official Valentino website or anything. It was just on the UK site. So we over here in America had to wait. And then finally, it was early Sunday morning y'all specifically on September 3rd because I was up super early to wash my hair the morning if you were a Rouge member it was a 24-hour app exclusive you had to buy it in the app on Sephora and you could place an order for it the only reason I was able to catch this release which this was the first release in the United States was because again I was up washing my hair so your girl ordered it right there on her phone I did not play no games and yeah I got it <laughs> so I was able to get it during the first round and normally the whole 24-hour app release thing those don't really sell out. This was sold out in a few hours. Before noon, it was gone. So I was like, yeah, I'm glad I got it. So it only comes in one size. And by the way, since then, it has now become available on the Valentino website. It is now available at Kohl's. So you can get it. There's no longer the frenzy that it was. So let me say that too. So let's get into it. Valentino's Donna Born Roma Pink PP Edition. And most importantly, which I really care about, here is the bottle right here. Check it out. It is this pretty pink bottle. I've seen a lot of people complain and say, oh, it doesn't look like the pictures that we saw online. I don't care, y'all. It's a pink bottle. It's about the juice at the end of the day. Let's just really be honest. But I do get a lot of people bought this because of the whole pink craze that is happening this year. So yeah. <laughs> and unfortunately, a lot of us had to blind buy this because you just said it's only been available online. I have not seen anybody say it's in their stores. So this is one that yes, I did blind buy and a lot of you are gonna also have to blind buy. But, oh, I've gotten ahead of myself. Lipstick of the day today, everyone. <laughs> so lipstick of the day, this is MAC Spirit. Get into it, hope y'all like the look. I'm all the way in my fall looks, but it is this brownie nude type of color. I'll link it below as always. I did put a gloss over it. This is one of my dose of color glosses, and this is Macchiato. I'll put this in the description box too. And that's how you have the lip of the day. <laughs> fragrance of the day, um, I'm doing a dedicated review so it only makes sense to wear the fragrance that we are talking about. I have been wearing it since I got it, so I am ready to talk about it. You all know I like to spend some time with my fragrances before I do the dedicated review. Cause yeah, um, how am I gonna really do the rating system for you all? <laughs> so as always, when it comes to fragrance reviews, I rate fragrances by four categories. The first category is mood, and that is simply, how does this fragrance make me feel? Where am I wearing it to? What is the vibe of it? Second is strength, and it's on a scale of one to 10 with the one being this ain't nothing but water in a pretty bottle to 10 being this is nuclear juice i gotta take a bath to get it off third category is longevity and it is how many hours long lasting is this fragrance very important for a lot of things especially when we talk about these designer prices getting higher and higher <laughs> then the fourth category which is very important for a lot of people is simply is this a compliment getting fragrance will people notice you while wearing this fragrance so now you know how i do things let's get into the specs of this percent so as of right now it only comes in one size and that size is the 100 ml size this is the big bottle that's what that means i do have one of my 50 ml bottles i have my original donna born aroma right here just so you all can compare again original donna born aroma is 50 ml and then a new pink pp is the 100 ml size just so you can see the difference for those that may be wondering so as of right now the price is 156 dollars which 
yes that is a lot for designer fragrance and particularly one that is limited edition and you can only blind buy it right now <laughs> so i gotta say that the concentration of this fragrance this is an eau de parfum concentration and then the full name of this scent because i know the name the pp can be a little silly it's the born in roma rendezvous pink pp version that's really what it is <laughs> now let's get into the notes of this fragrance so the notes are very simple for this new pink pp version right here so we have key notes of Calabrian green and mandarin. We have orange blossom accord. And then we have Madagascar bourbon vanilla. So really all of three notes, very, very simple. Yeah. So based on that, I knew that this would be a mass appealing scent. This would be an easy reach type of scent. Is it going to be complex? Absolutely not. I mean, it's mandarin, it's orange blossom and it's vanilla. That's not hard. Absolutely, this is blind by safe. And I'm okay with that considering it is only available online. So that's okay with me. I'm going to refresh my nose with this scent for the record, because yes, I am wearing it, but I always like to give my fresh impressions on it too, as I get into the rating system. So a lot of y'all are asking, okay, what does this scent smell like? And is this redundant? Is it just a repackage of the original Donna or maybe even the intense version that came out earlier in the year, right? So let me tell you exactly what this scent smells like. And this is why I always wait to do my reviews because I need to spend time with the fragrance to really understand it. So absolutely, you do have the DNA of the original Donna Born and Roma in there, right? Which makes sense, it's a flanker. So we knew it was gonna be in there. And it's mainly that bourbon vanilla note that makes these scents similar so th there so we start here with the original Donna. but another fragrance came to mind as i continue to smell this and i was like interesting because there's this powdered sugary sweetness to this scent that is unique to it compared to the other valentino versions and all that so the other scent that came to mind while wearing this was killian's love don't be shy which you all know i finally acquired a full bottle not too long ago and it's that powdered sugariness that's in here that I'm smelling. So quite frankly, it's as if if you tone down original Down and Born Aroma first, this is your base. This is on top with a little bit of love. Don't be shy on top. If you essentially mix these two together, but dial down the intensity, <laughs> you get Down and Born Aroma pink pee pee version. That is what it is. It was funny because I was wearing, I was like, I'm smelling something that's so familiar to me and it's those two scents. So you take Killian's Love Don't Be Shy again and of course you take original Donna Born Aroma and you got Pink PP. So when I think about the mood of this fragrance, the Pink PP version, y'all, honestly, come on, it's real obvious. It's Barbie. It's giving total Barbie vibes. I mean, look at the hot pink bottle. It just seems like a good time. It's a girly girl fragrance. I can see a young lady that is all of 16 can wear this. Somebody that is 50 and up can also wear this. It's a fun fragrance. It's meant to be silly, lighthearted. This is not serious at all. <laughs> now, strength of this fragrance. <laughs> to me, this one compared to the other Valentino versions that I have, this one is soft. This one is soft in my opinion. The strength of this fragrance is a five, which I was kind of shocked by considering I know how strong the original Donna is in my opinion. And and of course how thick the intense version is because she's thick it's a jasmine note in here but yeah strength is only a five so again that's why i say this one is lighthearted, very very light <laughs> yeah now longevity of this scent now let's talk about that each time i wear this and yes i still can smell it on my skin i've been wearing it all day i only get about four to five hours on this scent which compared to my other valentinos in my opinion that is on the lighter end this is a lighter wear so i mean four to five not the worst longevity but it could be better and particularly since we know how og donna born Roman performs i mean the bar was set kind of high it's got to be real about that so with that being said longevity was a little bit of a letdown gotta be honest <laughs> last category is to say compliment getting fragrance and actually yes it is i sprayed it i've worn it around family and friends and everybody was like oh it's nice it's one of those oh you smell nice type of scent is it a fragrance that people are gonna be asking what exactly is that please write it down for me will somebody chase you down while wearing it no that's not gonna happen it's just a, mm, you smell nice so yeah it does get compliments the head f likes it because it has that powdered sugary effect and we all know the men love the sweet scents so for that reason yes i still wear it and he enjoys it too so <laughs> 
So final thoughts on this fragrance you all. In my opinion, the purpose of this fragrance, who this fragrance is for, this is for the collector, hands down. By collector, for the fragrance collector, if you like me that have the other Donna Born Aromas, the flankers, I did purchase it for collector purposes. And of course I want to review it as well, but the collector in me would not have felt complete if I didn't pick it up. So it is for the collector. Second, it is also for the girly girl that loves everything that is pink and you want pink things on your vanity. That is who this is also for. And then there's also the designer collector. Those people that collect certain designers, in this case, we're talking Valentino. If you love the rock studs, anything from Valentino's line, you're gonna want this fragrance because it goes with your whole aesthetic and theme. So again, this is a collector's item is what this is. Is this a fragrance truthfully that I would have purchased had I been able to smell it in store? If I was just a general customer, common customer, not a YouTuber, not a reviewer, or any of that. No, <laughs> I wouldn't have. But again, I'm willing to admit that and I recognize that. This was a fun purchase. It was a frenzy. Yes, it was spur of the moment. It was one of those, I'm gonna get it. It's probably gonna be basic and it is. I mean, the notes were basic, so I knew that, but hey. It's a fun scent. Everything doesn't need to be complicated and that's okay. And again, I'm a collector, so I'm happy with it. She's cute to look at. She makes me happy. Oh, and the last thing I want to say about this fragrance. If you are a person that felt the original Valentino Donna Born Aroma was too thick for you, too strong, if you felt it was too strong, too thick, I honestly think you will much so rather enjoy this new Pink PP version. I understand because a lot of people wanted to get in on the craze of the original and they were like, I just can't get with it. It's too thick, it's too sweet. It's okay. I think honestly, this is the one you should go with. This is the route you should go. So that's also who I think it's for because it's a lighter wear. So all in all, that is my review of the new Valentino Donna Born Roma Pink PP version. She's cute. Again, I'm a collector, so I, will. I still will continue to keep her around. I still will wear her more so in the spring and summertime because again, she's a lot of wear. It's fall when I'm filming this. So not quite my vibe right now, but she's cute. I don't hate her, but I don't necessarily love her either. It is what it is. <laughs> And the good thing is, like I said, it is finally available like for anybody to get. It's not this mass frenzy anymore. So I will link where you can pick it up if you are interested. So as always, if you did get me, subscribe to the channel. If you're here for the content, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not here for any of this, and I guess you don't like the new limited edition pink PP version. <laughs> but until next time, Ills, I will catch you on the next video. Bye y'all.